What's up everybody? Welcome back. Back out here on the lake today, guys. Doing some fishing. It's hot. About 85 degrees. A few days before Memorial Day weekend. So I think this will be my last day fishing till next week. Because I normally just take it easy through Memorial Day. I don't even touch the water. Most people come out here on the water. I stay at home. That's how I roll because there's a million people out here. And I spend enough time on the water as it is. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's jump out here, catch some fish. Probably going to run around. It's the middle of the day. It's sunny. It's 85. And it's very warm. It's very sunny. So we're probably just going to go around and work the bottom. Throw a little flutter nymph from Fish Lab. Something like that. Maybe throw a Sanko something. See if we can't pick up a few bass. And then we'll see as the day goes on. We'll switch up as, as that light changes. I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's get out here and catch some fish. Come on, guys. There's one. There we go, guys. There's our first bass. Nice spot working this. Middle of the day. I don't even think I've done the intro yet. Let's give this spot a little slack. It's a good one, too. Using the flutter net, boys and girls. This thing works. I'm gonna wear him out a little bit. These spots are very strong. Tired of losing bass. This is a good spot too. It's a real good spot. Look how beautiful he looks in that water. Gotta wear him out because he'll break me. Nice spot. First spot of the day. Oh my goodness, that's that dude's got some sharp teeth on him. Beautiful spot though. Beautiful spot, big old spot. He's not super thick, but he's really long. Let's take a picture with him. All right, guys, took a few pictures with him. Let's let him go. Nice big spot, long spot, man. That's a long one. So much fun to catch. Catch him on that flutter nymph. I might have ruined this spot. This spot looked good. I got hit, but I think it was a Goberto. But I mean, look at that right there. How can I not toss in? These Gilberts, they love hitting these little appendages because the top of these things flutter. And I mean, they flutter. They just, it's very unique bait. I don't think there's anything else like this thing. But then bluegills, they love to hit those little appendages, but they're pretty strong and they don't really rip them off that often. I'm actually really happy about that. That's another reason I like this thing so much. I'm not going through them is what I'm trying to say. I don't go through a lot of them. I catch a lot of fish with these. Good one, guys. The goat back pocket bass. That's a good bass. Look at the bass following him, dude. Look at that. Uh oh, he got me in the stop to watch the other bass. There's four big bass following this fish. Guys, bass is strong. Let's get him in here. Up. Oh my god. That's a good one, dude. He had. Four good ones following this bass. There's like a bunch of bass back there. Look at that dude. Beautiful largemouth. I mean, he just smoked the goat, bro. Now I had three. I was sitting there watching the three big ones. There's one next to him that was real big. Why is there always never the big one he gets in? So that's a good one. That's a real good bass. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. Freaking A, man. I love that. I get you ticker ticket. Get your blood pumping, boys and girls. That was a good one. He's just sitting back in there. He said, boom. Bass there. There's a big one. There he is. 
Got him. Did you see that? That was awesome. Awesome. Bass. Nice bass. That was cool. Come out of there. Grabbed it. That was awesome. Ooh, he got a little mean once popped that hook out of him. He's like, no more hooks. All right, guys, another nice largemouth. Threw it over there, worked it through there. Come up and smoked it, bro. Nice largemouth. Let's let him go. See you, buddy. I threw it over there and worked it through there, and a little one about the size of the goat came through there. This area is hard to work. If you can't get them on a goat through here, you can throw jig. Because they're sitting down under all this stuff. These largemouth like this little pocket right here. There's always one sitting around in here. They just hang around in here. It's not all, you're not always going to get them to bite, but they're here. Oh, look at that weird mushroom growing over there. Look at that. That's so weird. What kind of mushroom is that? Is that a mushroom? Is just the way it looks? I think it's a mushroom. What the hell? That's a magic mushroom right there, boys. <laughs> that right there. You'll get to meet Santa Claus. You eat that mushroom, probably. Look at that thing over there. Hold up, I'll get my camera. All right, guys, look at this mushroom growing over here. Look at that thing. It's so weird. It's like growing there. It's kind of cool looking, though. You eat that, you get to meet Santa Claus. Santa Claus! <laughs> All right, guys, let's keep fishing. I'm going to go back in this pocket. See if we can't get some food. There's one. Finally another bass. We got one decent. Get him out of the brush. Little dude. I was looking at whatever that thing was over there in the woods. Like a raft or something. Nice little dude. Spotted bass. Cool. We got a spot on top of water. What is that thing over there? Some kind of raft. It's floated over there. Look at that spot, guys. Sorry, I might have y'all too high. Nice little spot. It's been a little while I went and here let's let this guy go. I uh stopped and ate a sandwich and swam for a little bit. Then I monkeyed around. I had to retie all my rods because all the lines messed up. And I fished another slough back over there, but I ain't getting nothing back in there. So it's been about from that last catch, about an hour and forty minutes. Close to two hours. It's later in the evening, which we still got several hours for it gets dark probably like three hours so we're gonna keep fishing see if we can catch more bass so far we've got two spots two good spots two good bat and two good largemouth so it's been a pretty good day overall not a lot of b-row no drones or nothing just fishing just straight fishing just straight fishing actually kind of shocked to get a spot right here. Dang, that's a good large amount. Look how he hit that. Oh, come out of there. Look how he hit that goat, guys. Let's get him in the boat. Oh, that's a good one. Dude, that is a good large right there. I think it's the best one of the day. He annihilated that goat, guys. Come on, man. Come around my hand. Mean. Mean large mouth. Nice. I don't know if he's bigger than that other one. He definitely meaner. I dropped him. I need to let him back in the water. Good large mouth, though. Dude, he smoked that goat. Two bass right there. Pow, pow. Goating it out. That was awesome. He hit that hard, too, guys. Boom. Jackhammer. I thought I might get some right here. That was awesome. What a hit. All right, guys. Well, it's not been such a bad day. It's not been so bad. We've caught five bass, I think. Maybe, I don't know, four or five. I think we've caught five bass. They've all been pretty decent hanging around in this area. We're going to keep fishing. We still got an hour, hour or so that we're going to keep fishing or that we got to fish. We've got about an hour or so, about an hour and a half. We're going to run around the way, hit a few more spots, 
Trying to put another bass or two in the boat. I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's keep fishing, guys. There we go. There's one. Let's listen to that squirrel complain at me. He's freaking out on me. Don't, don't go under there. I seen him trying to go under that log. That's a good one. It's pretty, too. We've caught a bunch of good bass today, guys. They've all been good. Uh, <laughs> look at that squirrel. He's pissed. He's like, get out of here. This is my house. Nice bass. Look at that dude. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go. Shut up, Mr. Squirrel. Listen to that dude. He is having a panic attack. I'm going to put you on this hook. Go fishing with you, squirrel. <laughs> I hope y'all can hear him. It's funny. All right, guys. Well, there's another fish. It's like six good bass today. It's been a good day overall. What we got here? Started catching them. There he is. Oh, come on, buddy. This guy's strong for a little bass. <laughs> I heard this dude back here just going ham. It's a spot. I wonder he's so damn strong and mean. Look at that dude. <laughs> mean spot of bass. Good little dude. He's a little godfish. Man, get out of here. Mean fish. All right, guys. Well, that is that. We had a pretty good day. Not a bad day. It's a pretty good video. Caught about seven bass, I think. Six, seven bass. All were pretty good. A couple little ones at the end. Overall, it was a pretty good day, though. Not a bad day by any means. Especially around here. Now, I know this wasn't the most exciting video. No drone, no lots of b-roll or anything it's just kind of a fishing video I just want to come out here and go fishing and it paid out pretty good i threw and caught my first fish on the flutter nymph was the spot threw it for a while but just couldn't really get any fish on that thing very good and i started throwing the goat and that just started happening so i just kind of stuck with that and kept catching fish i appreciate y'all for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll be back real soon to make another video. Hope y'all guys had a really good Memorial Day weekend because that will be passed by the time this video comes out, more than likely. But I appreciate y'all. Y'all take it easy. We'll be back real soon to make another video. Y'all guys take it easy. Get out and go fishing. It is nice out. It's about to get hot though. All right, guys. <laughs>